I mean, I was like, I don't know, how how long ago was that? I mean, I was probably two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah. I was, so I just, I was nine it was years just old. like I remember seeing a picture of Michael Jackson on the cover, and I was like, oh, Michael Jackson, you know, because mm-hmm. I knew because my mom. Yeah, I take a lot of uh, <laughs> taste in music from my parents. Yeah, right, and that, that's um, where my like taste in video games comes from. It's from my dad and stuff. Yeah, yeah. See, my parents never played video games. Oh, dude, my dad was like hardcore into Super Nintendo and NES. Like my Gauntlet was. was like his game. Well, you your know? dad is your dad is how old? Forty. Yeah, my dad's fifty-eight. So yeah, yeah. My my parents had me when they were twenty. So yeah, my dad was <laughs> thirty thirty something when he had me. Yeah. Know. My mom okay. was 40 when she had me. 40? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, your mom doesn't look a day over 16. What? what? Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi, Lori. <laughs> Hi, Lori. If you're listening, Don't... we love you. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry for the people I used <laughs> to be my mom, friends. Oh, man. <laughs> i got to tell you, though, guys, this job that I've been working lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell me about it. There's, there's ups and downs, really. Um, yeah, tell us about it. it. It's fun because, like... I'm learning the legal side of a lot of stuff, like how to actually do stuff in life that I never learned because our public school system is sh- crap. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Now you know how to get away with crimes. Yes. Um, <laughs> however, Thanks, uh, cool. this state, we live in West Virginia for any out-of-state listeners. This state is gorgeous. Oh, it is. West Virginia is beautiful. Is. I drove across the New River Gorge Bridge today, across Mount Storm, and it's it's just gorgeous. You said he cried while doing so. Do what? Did you cry while doing so? I, not, I said. I, I said. Cry. I can imagine him. I thought you just said. Did you eat chicken fried? <laughs> I was like, yeah, with a cold beer on a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A pair of jeans that fit just right. <laughs> cold beer, cold jeans. <laughs> That's my last one. Nah, I. Uh, this is a beautiful state, straight up. Like, there's a lot of really, really cool things. Like, we we went to Seneca Rocks last year on vacation. Yep. The, the, the four of us. Oh, it was, us it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, we invented a sport there. Do you remember what it was? <laughs> it was, it was kayak uh, football. Kayak, kayak yeah. football. We found this old Nerf football in the lake. Yep. Or did we bring it? I don't. I think, uh, I think somebody brought Philip it. Philip might have brought it. I don't know. It was either Philip um, brought it or it was in your trunk. But we rented like four kayaks and we went out in the lake and invented kayak football. And it was one of the <laughs> best times we've ever had. Oh, yeah. It was fantastic. That was so much fun. And it was like, it was a cabin that was like completely off the grid. You know? Mm-hmm. Like there were there was no electronics. We couldn't play on our phones. We couldn't do anything but like sit around, play board games, and smoke, uh, uh, read the Bible. And read the Bible. <laughs> Philip, our friend Philip made the best breakfast I've probably ever eaten in my entire life. It was. What, wasn't, wasn't the Mountain Man for, breakfast? I wasn't there for that breakfast. He no, made, you were there for the Mountain Man breakfast. You weren't there for breakfast sandwiches. He yeah, made he made he made missed. bacon, egg, and cheese like biscuits. Yeah, but he's such a good cook that it just blew my. Oh mind yeah, away. no, I had it cooking all week. Yeah. Oh, what was the. Uh... Oh, that weird thing that you guys made with like the chili and the oh stuffers. the stuffers. Those were oh, so dude, good. the ramen great. stuffers. Oh, so. for, for, for anyone who's ever been to prison or <laughs> ever had a relative that went or that is went in to right prison. now, yeah, or is in right now, um, you know what I'm talking about. Well, what I'm talking about Alcatraz. stuffers. Maybe you call them bricks, but what it is, you take a pack of ramen noodles and you uh, you pour hot water in the bag without taking the ramen out of the bag. And you let it steam for about 60 seconds, dump the water out, and let it get moist to where you can separate the noodles inside the bag, cram chili, nacho cheese, cram all kinds of crazy stuff in there, and and twist the bottom of the bag up and eat it like a sandwich. It's amazing. It's honestly one of the most stoned things I think I've ever eaten One of my my favorite foods. Because, like... like, I remember going in to bite it, and I was like, this is going to be disgusting. It was so good, right? I took that bite, and I was like... Oh, man. This is what I've ever eaten (laughs) That's right. I think the one we made for you was um, chili. It was spicy chili. Yeah, <laughs> spicy so chili, chili, cheese, shredded cheese, mm-hmm. and uh, honey barbecue Frito twist. Yep, yep that's so good. Oh yeah. yeah, that was yeah, yeah. probably the best was, stuff where I've ever eaten. That's that's the second best thing I've ever come up with. Not that specific combination. I obviously didn't come up with stuffers. That's been around for years. Yeah. The best food that I've ever invented, me personally, which is, there might have been someone to do this before I have, but yeah. I it was an original idea that I had and I came up with randomly one day. Mm-hmm. So uh, I was gonna fix a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We didn't have any bread. <laughs> so what does Sean use? Ego waffles. Ooh. Oh wow! Yeah, it was so good. I really want to try that I think another that. day. But instead of using jelly, just use peanut butter and use toaster strudels. Ooh, Ooh. that sounds good. Yeah. I think I've seen that in a movie before. The waffle thing. The waffle thing. Yeah, I think yeah. It, it's like in the back of my mind. I remember seeing. I might it have like told you about some it kind of Home Alone esque movie. Uh, huh. mm. I might have told you about it before. Though I, I did that when I was like twelve. My buddy Andy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, yeah, that's awesome. Um. 
Nah, man, I've 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 come up with some crazy stuff eating. Like, cause I'm, I'm like I I work on the road now, so like the only places I get to eat are like out on the road. Yeah. So like I come up with some crazy concoctions, of stuff <laughs> peanut butter and crack sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've come up with some wicked stuff. Like the other day, um, I got a bratwurst from Sheets, and if, I have the if, receipt really? right here. I can prove it. it. Yeah. Oh crap! That that's actually my receipt for the bratwurst. That's wild. <laughs> uh, well, let me read it. you exactly what it had on it. It was a thick bratwurst. Like by thick, I mean like five C's. Like it was super five thick. C's. Yeah, super. <laughs> like I know like, a thing or two about that. It was dummy <laughs> thick. No lie. Um, Colonel. It was on a pretzel bun. Mm. That with nacho good. cheese, mm. chili, and pickles. Ooh. Wow, that is that sounds pretty Dude. good. I it really sounds like you just closed your eyes and pressed all the <laughs> buttons on the screen just I'm to see you, what man. you no, got. Here's what I did. About three hours after I ate that dog, I... You ate a dog? I laid an egg, man. <laughs> I was about to say, the that poop thing that came not... from that bratwurst was the size of my head, dude. It, like, look at look at my head. You see how big I, it is? I see it. I you know see how it. big and dumb my head is. It's not big. <laughs> that poop was that big. <laughs> that bratwurst destroyed me, but it was one of the most delicious things ever. And don't sleep on Sheets Hot uh, Bratwurst, man. I don't know. Like, sheet, like you Sheets would think, oh, you food. know, gas station food. No, no man. Sheets, no. Sheets is the caviar gas of gas station, station food. food. So, Sheets is luxury. I wear a tuxedo to Sheets, man. I get my lady a corsage every time we go in. <laughs> nah, but don't sleep on bratwurst from Sheets, Mm-mm. man. Bratwurst from Sheets are no joke. They're 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 bomb. They have real. really good uh, freaking chicken wings. Oh yeah, I haven't tried the chicken wings. I've been meaning to get around get, to it. Really I always good. get the app platter. I always okay, get the, I see, get, yeah, appetizers. I used to get that back when they good. had fried pickles appetizer. and curly fries. Yeah, um, they might still have it in some parts of the country, but where we're where they we're from, they have we a, don't have curly fries or fried pickles anymore. They have barbecue ranch flavor, and it's basically just both of them combined, and it's delicious. I, and see, I like that. It's I don't like ranch, but I like that's good with it's uh, fried delicious. pickles. You don't like ranch? No, not really. Different. I'm really weird with condiments, though. I, I won't eat most condiments. I think um, I'm I don't like that. pickles on like burgers. Do you like you ketchup? See, I like pickles I don't, normally. No, if, no if I have to have ketchup, it's barely any ketchup, and it's on a burger or on a hot dog. That's it. Mustard. No, I don't like mustard at all. That's wow. Right. Uh, um, ranch, no mayonnaise. No ranch, no mayonnaise. No you don't mayonnaise? like mayonnaise? Nope. Horse not even radish. on like a no horseradish. Not even on like a uh, sub. No mayonnaise. Nope. No mayonnaise wow. ever. I just can't do mayonnaise. Huh. For real, I just don't like. I'd rather have an egg. You know. I can't think of any more condiments. Right. Um, I like sweet and sour sauce to a degree. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If it's like an Asian spicy Asian zing sauce, I really like. Yeah, like about, the, uh, honey mustard. I was about no, to say that. Don't like honey, honey mustard. Honey mustard is the best. As a kid, I used to just like get like you know how the school handed out like tubs of honey mustard. They're like. I've, Little, they fit in your fingers. I've never gone to a school that gave out tubs of honey mustard. Okay, well, no, I, used I know to just... like the little sauce packet. Little oh, sauce packet. Okay, yeah, yeah what that's what he talked about. He said little tub. He held his hand up like in signifying how big it actually was. To that. Yeah. I just heard the but word. But I used to, I used I was... to just get like an extra one of those and I just eat it alone because I loved honey mustard. Okay, I don't like it that much. But... I love. Nah, honey you're mustard. like one of those weird kids who used to just like get the jelly packets and eat it with a spoon, weren't you? Oh no, Ooh, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I wasn't that bad. I went to school with a kid named Max, whose uh, mom would always come in and I still food off people's trays. Uh, I believe you. His mom would always come in and spread his toast for him before he went to class. Oh. That's incredible. And we were in high school. No, <laughs> a little less. That's not, as, that's not as good. No, nah, but uh, he would eat this, the jelly with the with a spoon. Different flavors, too. He wanted to mix it up. You my know? mom would definitely do that for me if I asked her to. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, I love my mom. Oh, my up. mom is like, she takes too much care of me. I, I don't know how to live by myself. Okay, we're good. Yeah, my mom. Um, I love my mama, man. Straight up. I would do anything for my mom. No lie. But it's really weird because, like... Like this, these are like my last few weeks living at my parents' house, mm-hmm. and I don't know if we've told you this yet or George, but Anthony and I are moving out. Yeah, yeah, yeah you but told me that. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Um, and, uh, that way, I didn't uh, know so soon. Know. Huh? I didn't know so soon. By May, we yeah. plan on having our own place by May because it took two years of planning, but we finally got it. Yeah, straight up. But I remember when you guys started talking. As soon as <clears throat> talking about it, as soon as I find a place that allows me to have the dachshunds, then. Then we're there because we yeah. need more time to actually be together to record, you know. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's hard with our busy schedules to actually meet up and do some stuff. This this way we can actually sit down and record episodes and stuff and actually get word out there instead of just oh, yeah. piddle around and and piddling, piddling. Well, I'll be over all the time. It's yeah, like dude, as much hey, as I can. anytime you're in town, you got a bed to sleep on. Hey, I'm getting it's an apartment. My bed I'm getting an apartment next, me, next year, so <laughs> sleep in my bed instead. We have Ooh, I, I'll split nights. 
Okay. Uh, you know, Split Night. That sounds down. like a popular video game that I really wanted to talk now about. <laughs> PUBG. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Fortnite. Um, oh yeah, a beautiful segue. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful segue. Um, you really wanted to just talk about Fortnite, George, and I'm honestly just going to turn you loose. So <laughs> go, go next, go man. Go go Fortnite. Ahead. Please talk about Apex and Anthem as well, because like. I love all of these games. I, I haven't played Anthem yet. Um, don't. don't. I, I, I love all of these games personally because I like Battle Royale type games. They are fun. I think Texas Fortnite 99. mastered that. I really do. I think they were they were the game. Like PUBG did a really good job of it. And like they were the popular one at first. But Fortnite mastered it and brought Battle Royale to everyone. Quick I shout think. out to uh, Tetris 99 for being the best Battle Royale game. I'm not lying. This is not a joke. I genuinely fucking love that game. Freaking... Sorry. <laughs> Bro, that's that's pretty cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Anyway, um yeah, no, Fortnite, um I it's mean, PG-13, it's 13, we're allowed to say one F word. Yeah, okay, I think George. it's I think it's definitely like I don't think it's dead yet. I think it's dying. I mm-hmm. think it's crazy to think about, but Apex really came at like the perfect time. You think so? I oh, well, right, right when Fortnite had its decline. Well, think? think about this: is Fortnite was in the middle of its longest because you know how they have the season passes. Yeah. Well, yeah the yeah. one they were in right now is they were in the longest one that they've done so far, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and you could really feel the fatigue coming yeah. up, and people uh, were I'll just getting yeah, tired. I don't like Fortnite how they since like October. I didn't like how they changed. No, the I haven't. I because I had that season pass and I was grinding it as much as I could. But like that was back when like we would have little parties like we would all come over here with our Nintendo Switches sit at the kitchen ca- counter and just like play the handheld versions and talk to each other. Yeah, while yeah, we yeah. that was a lot of yeah. fun. Remember that? Yeah, I did. I wish, <laughs> they they didn't, I wish they didn't change the map. Remember? I see. I like that they changed the map. I don't know. Back when it, it keeps it fresh. And it back keeps when it, there I liked was it no more. desert, no snow, and. Uh, Lake was still all water. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's when the Fortnite map was the best. Oh yeah, I really? No, yeah. See, I, I, I like the... it the way it is now. I like. Really? The, I, I love the snow places. See, I like the, the constant change. I think that's cool because honestly, I haven't played with, the if you don't, like if that, you don't have that, it just becomes yeah. so bland. And... With a game like that, where you don't have optional different maps that you can choose from, yeah. it's nice to have a constantly yeah. rotating map that, that people don't get used to over time. And there were, I mean, like the map changes were never perfect, but oh, I think oh, yeah, I think the most recent one was probably I'd say of all the changes, probably one of the better ones I haven't played the did. new uh, so? season yet so I, I haven't seen I haven't either. I, I, I haven't it right I when haven't... ice started like right when everything started to get frozen yeah no that was the season that's, that's nice that was so. the longest one okay then I played that one. so towards the end of that apex um and like I was looking into like I don't know why, but I like I love watching like videos about like like just news and how stuff comes about and yeah, just yeah, video yeah. game stuff in as general. As long as it's but... not like actual political news, I'm oh no no, no absolutely you. not. But, um, Politics, so give like me anxiety. The company I don't know why, but it's escaping me right now. I believe it was EA, right? Yeah, this yeah, is Apex. yeah. They made a good game. So finally. they did an amazing job advertising this game. Like they paid a lot of to- a couple top streamers the yep. weekend it came out to just stream nothing but that. And, like, say great things about the game, and it worked. I mean, people were watching it, and oh, they were yeah. like, this game looks amazing. I want to play it, and well, it's I free, mean, with so. Well, a company like EA, and, like, nothing As, against them, but... No, they everything, spend, everything against EA. They spend everything all of their hard EA. time and work to make the same damn soccer game every single year. Yeah, <laughs> soccer. I mean, it's not really EA that, but, like... Sports. I mean, you can go on and on about like all the different problems that EA games have, with, like microtransactions, of you know, course. like Battlefield and um, Battlefront. Uh, Battlefront and I'm gonna take a brief, break. brief pause break so I can. F- okay, we're back. I farted. Farted adjourned. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but um, like <laughs> that was like a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but just like they did a great job with advertising Apex, they did everything perfectly, and then. Right when Fortnite was on a slump, Apex just shot up and yeah. it took over. I haven't played Fortnite since I downloaded Apex. I still haven't absolutely. Seen... Have you played Apex yet? No. I Great game. Haven't. I still haven't. Do seen you know any. anything about it? Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's uh, kind of like Overwatch meets Fortnite, right? Yeah, yeah. Something you can say that. Yeah, yeah. I still haven't seen any gameplay of it like at all. Personally. Very good. Is it I, Battle Royale. Yeah, it's Battle Royale. Uh, you only play in games of th- or in groups of three. Okay. You can play in less, but that's only if like another player doesn't dis- doesn't connect. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's just a, it's a great system. It's, and do you have like different characters or? Yeah, yeah. There's different characters. Each character has different abilities. Is it free? Okay. Um, Huh? Yeah, it's free. Okay, guys, hold on. I'm not advertising the game. I'm not like oh, yeah, selling yeah, this, it. This isn't sponsored. No. Speaking of <laughs> See, sponsors. This game. Hey, George. 
Hey, Sean. Do you read comic books? I do. I read all the comic books. Where do you get your comic books? Well, I'll I... I'll stop you right there. You should get your comic books at Multiverse Comics, LLC, located on Southside Parkersburg at 2107 Pike Street, number 12, Parkersburg, West Virginia, 20... 20-